What's going on YouTube? Uh, the microphone's on the top of the camera, like right here in the middle, and I'm right here on the side. So sorry about the audio quality and the, the yeah, it might just be it might be louder on one side than the other. But um, I just want to go ahead and show you this. Uh, my LG G3 is completely stock. I do not have custom recovery. I do have root from Tile Root. We will talk about that in a minute. I don't know if this video will go on my main channel, youtube.com slash www.joshdew, or my second channel, youtube.com slash www.joshdu, that is my second channel, depending on how this goes, and if we end up with an unlocked bootloader and everything, that'll decide whether it goes on the main channel or the second channel. So I will go ahead and say that I typed in ADB devices, and it kept saying device not found and it wasn't saying allow USB debugging on my phone. So I downloaded the drivers from this website right here. I will link to these drivers. I, I'll, I'll try to link to this right here or I'll link to a mirror. Either way, I will link to it. And my alarm's going off. Hold on just a second, let me cancel that. My computer's still being uh, repaired. I got a notification Friday they received it, so hopefully it's gonna be fixed soon. This computer is not fast enough to edit. It's a dual core, so it, and four gigs of RAM, and it's just not that great of a computer. <laughs> it's just more for browsing the web. But anyways, uh, so here's the drivers. You can download them from here. You'll just click LG Unified United Mobile Driver, and you download it. Okay, so now, uh, it said installed successfully. You need to unplug your phone and then plug your phone back in. When you do that, you'll get a little thing saying allow this uh, right here, this computer's RSA key, focus on my phone. Okay, allow, so you'll just hit always allow from this computer and press OK. And now if we type in ADB devices, it will show your serial number from your phone. So press OK, we're done with that. Uh, and also, for those of you that you know are curious about this, I posted 17 hours ago. So we'll go ahead and show you that. I liked the video from the guy that showing how it works and instructions on installing it. And yeah, so for, <laughs> here's the tweet. It was October 9th yesterday at 11 p.m. So late last night. So uh, yeah, <laughs> just in case you're like you know. Uh, one of those people that cares about time sensitivity. So this is the thread right here. It is from The Cubed. This will work on every version of the LG G3. We happen to have the AT&T version here. Now, I also went ahead and backed up my phone here. So you'll see batch backup finished. I backed it up to my external SD card. We can go to the overview tab here and you can see that it went onto my external storage. I'm showing you that because if, if this process wipes your internal storage, then your backups are gonna be gone. Up here it tells you that my backups are going to the external SD, so uh, th that right there, external SD card. So if I lose my stuff during this process, I'm fine. So down here, we're gonna see all this. You must be rooted, and here's this link I'm gonna provide in the description. I'm gonna have a bunch of goo.gl links to everything. So I'm gonna have, my description's gonna be packed full of information on all this stuff. So this link right here, downloads.codefi.re, the cubed LG underscore G3 bump. This is where you're gonna download everything. We need the D850, so how you can tell that is, on the back of my phone here, if I can get this back off of here, you're going to see the, that text. My, my camera's taking a second to focus, D850. So go ahead and there's my uh, T-Mobile or AT&T SIM card. Just showing this is the AT&T model with a locked bootloader. So we're gonna download D850 and wait for this to download here, press okay. And then we can go ahead and close this out and here's this thing that says, uh, like the, the AT&T version, you can root it with Teleroot, with IO root, with Purple Drake, Stump, uh, it, it just the whole, I will have a link to this in the description. So it, you need to be rooted in order to use this method. So if you're not rooted, this method will not work. And this spreadsheet right here will give you everything. And I'm getting all this from an a, article from Android Police. So, and also there was, yeah, Multiple other places posted it, but this is just where I'm getting all my links from like that spreadsheet right here It's right here and uh, Also they twerp you can click those But I just went to that one link that I just actually closed so we'll do undo the tab close here and go back Go back 
this is where I'm getting it from right here. So, okay, so now that's in our downloads folder. Let's go ahead and go to our downloads here and let's cut that with control X. We're gonna go over to our platform tools. If you don't have the Android SDK installed, let me just show you that right here. Oh, I'm sorry, is.gd slash Android SDK, like that is.gd slash Android SDK and that will take you to my video on how to set it up the way I have mine set up. So <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure you've got everything down pat before you start doing all this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and paste that into this folder here. Now I don't, something didn't go right so let's go back to our downloads. We'll go ahead and cut that again and we'll paste it in here. Oh, it's because I pasted that link and it overrode my clipboard. So there it is in our platform tools folder. I'm going to go ahead and close out all this other unnecessary stuff and then this is where you're going to get all the directions so you need to type in adb shell so on the platform tools folder you'll hold shift and then you'll right click and you'll choose open command window here and you'll type adb shell now on the phone it'll ask you you have also got to type in su i believe so let's go back to the thread here yes you do need to type in su and then press enter you should get a little pop-up. This is where you have to have root in order for this to work. And now it's a little like sign there. So it's no longer, it, it isn't root now. So then we need to type this right here, uh, recovery. So change your phone's model, make sure it matches the file you downloaded, capitalization matters. So we're gonna do by name. I'm not sure what that means. This is going to be the rough part. This is where I said it might go on my second channel. We don't know what's going to happen here. So download the link below, set your phone to MTP. We did, we did that. You just drag down your little notification bar and you press on where it says uh, media device and you can change it right there. So uh, open the command window prompt in the command scroll. You'll get an out of space error. Ignore it. Then paste them if you must. Edit, change me to your phone's model. Make sure it matches, capitalization matters. Maybe under our model number, it'll tell us like exactly what we have. So about phone, software, yes. Right there, D850, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this command. And then in here, I'm gonna do D850. Okay, so we got that. And we're going to plug in the phone and we're going to do this one more time. Luckily, it did not erase things. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but this time I'll have it in there better. So we're going to go back to the command prompt here. Uh, after it connects, we're going to make sure that file is actually on our phone. So that way, you know, we're not going crazy. Why isn't our phone showing up here? Let me open the browser on my phone here and see if that file is on the internal storage. And it doesn't look like it actually made its way to the internal storage on my phone. So I think that's our problem. All right, I'll open up our scanner app here. I'll scan the little QR code and I will open it in my browser. And then from here, I'll download this D850 and it's downloading so once it's done we're going to also need to send that to our uh, internal to our not inside a download folder so we'll go to our download folder here oh it's in there hmm why is it in there twice let's go to details this is absolutely terrible small list okay so this one right here we'll cut that and we'll put it in the internal thing here. So now it's not in a folder. It moved successfully. And that is underscore DA50. So I think that was our problem earlier is we did not have it in there right. Okay, so now our G3 is actually showing up. So we'll go here to our platform tools, hold shift, open command window here, ADB shell, SU, and we'll uh, go to that command right here. We'll copy this one. We'll paste it. Okay, so it's all good to go there. And then we're going to, I'm not going to copy this one because I've changed it and I altered it with this one. I added underscore D850. If your model's different, you'll have to do it differently. So go ahead and copy all that. Go back here. Paste it. 
And it looks like we should be good to go. So exit, exit. And this time we'll power it off. And maybe this time we'll get into our recovery. So if all went well, instead of erasing our phone, it will get us into our recovery. So unplug it, pull the battery out, put it back in, hold the volume down in the power button, release power for just a second and then press it again while still holding volume down. And okay, so now instead of saying erase, we should see twerp recovery. Oh, look at that. As you can see, we have twerp recovery on our AT&T LG G3. We can make backups. We can install ROMs. We should be able to install CyanogenMod 11, which I will be doing that. And uh, I actually posted on Instagram that I put my SIM card on my Nexus 5. I did put it back in here because I've still got to do the review on this video. But um, if I can get CyanogenMod 11 on this sucker, I'll use it more because there's so much lag with stock. <laughs> that it's not even funny. So you do need to make sure that you download stuff that's bumped. They're gonna have more information on that in the future. I don't think you'll be able to just install any zip file out there. But yeah, so we can go ahead and just reboot to system and we can install Super SU in our recovery from now on. We can install custom ROMs. We can make the Android backups, which is like an image of your phone. And if your phone starts screwing up, you can restore it. It's awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. You will not regret it. Please also follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date on the latest videos that I'm working on, what's coming out next, and, you know, just uh, updates in general. And also, I will show you that we did not wipe anything. Our phone is just the way it was, but now we have custom recovery installed. This is awesome. Please subscribe, please give this video a thumbs up, please follow me on my various social media accounts, all those will be linked in the description below as well as links to all this stuff. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.